I got my briskets. These briskets are going to go in for about 24 hours. These went in around 4 o'clock already. Uh, these will smoke honestly until about 4 o'clock tomorrow. You like those burnt ends, I huh? love those burnt ends. <laughs> for a roadside, this reminds me of a roadside shop, like something out in Alabama, or in Texas, Texas, yeah. Oh, yeah. maybe out in Kansas City. This reminds me of just a, a, a regular roadside smoke shop. Now you call it South Side Sandwich Shop and Smokehouse. Well, originally we started off as a sandwich shop. Right. And we then built smoking in. So when I moved to this new location, we were going back and forth. It would be a South Side Smokehouse and Sandwich Shop, or we decided to leave it at South Side Sandwich Shop and Smokehouse, even though we push more of the smoking. But we still tell a ton of the sandwiches, whether it's smoked or not smoked, but we, we do both. But it's my understanding that as a brick and mortar, you are the first kosher smokehouse? Uh, for what I understand, yes. I was smoking at an open operation probably before any of the other ones. Any How many one. years? I'm not saying that they weren't doing anything, but I think I have been smoking now for about five years. Wow. I was four and a half years, about one year into my first year in my other location. I was, so I was doing for about three and a half years then, then we closed down, and then uh, yeah, we've been open here a little over two years, two and a quarter years now, and we've been heavily smoking cool. every single day. I don't know if you guys realize, but we had to wait before we could start recording because there was a line out the door. The entire place is packed. <laughs> it's about 8.30 on a Sunday night here. There's Bakram, there's guys all over, families enjoying, amazing. Everything made here on premises. Everything smoked here on premises. Fantastic sandwiches. They're open all week long. Some Shabbos specials. So much going on over here. Let's talk about a little bit of what we have over here. We have burnt ends over here. Yeah, burnt ends over here. No, I gotta interrupt you for one okay. second. You call this, which I found online when I found you. This is called the Mad Dog. Mad Dog. Explain what the Mad Dog is. Well, one thing you gotta know about me, I'm crazy. Okay? So I, am I. <laughs> I come up, well, you do your thing, I, I do, do my thing. Uh, so I try to come up with different names. We'll have something called the, the Dagwood. Okay, well, this is not a smoke item. This is a Dagwood sandwich, which we'll get to that later. The Mad Dog, which is a Myanmar hot dog wrapped in my own, what's called a burgers, which I make my own burgers, and then I wrap in my homemade beef bacon. Oh, wow. I smoke them for about three, four hours, and then I brush them with a hickory smoked barbecue sauce. Insane. Flying out the window. A lot of work, because it, uh, it takes about three weeks to make, two, three weeks to first make the bacon. So if, when I run out, you know, people are screaming at me, I guess, hey, it takes some time. Then we have sometimes we have a specialty item. Every once in a while we'll make them. We have a meatball wrapped in my homemade uh, smoked bacon. Charlie Beats, while, while you're while talking. talking. Uh, one of the hugely popular items, the bourbon baked beans. What's called the smoked bourbon baked beans. Uh, constantly, I, I make two, three batches a week on those and we make a lot. And yes, there is bourbon in it. This was a sandwich we've been working on and we want to try to make sure we get it right, with the right roll, which it's hard here in Lakewood to get a right roll. But this is what we call in the Smoky Joe. After, well, me. We take a uh, smoked brisket, then we take a uh, meal mot Mexican chorizo sausage. Ooh, one of my favorites. Smoke, smoked, then some smoked pulled beef. Then we add a little uh, what's called homemade barbecue sauce and coleslaw and pickles on it. That's my, my smoky joke. And over here, we have two different uh, second cut items. We have second cut brisket and second cut pastrami. And like I said, since we are a uh, sandwich shop also, even though we push a ton of smoked items and more and more every day and every week that we're selling more of the smoked items, we do have customers who what's called, will, uh, want also non-smoked items. This is one of my most popular sandwiches. It is called the Dagwood. It is schnitzel, kishka, onion rings, pastrami, coleslaw, and pickles. Oh wow, that sounds like a whole meal it's in a, a bowl. This is a whole week's meal in a uh, in a sandwich. And you have a real smoker, as they call real smoker? We have a couple of different smokers that we have up over here. We have an indoor one that we use, then we have my stick burn on the outside. You know also. what, let's go take a look. Let's go see what we got come in the on back over. over here. Guys, follow us in the back. Let's go see where all the magic happens. Here we are. Last night already, I had my first uh, about 80, 90 pounds of meat that went in overnight. Uh, we have about another 50, 60. Tonight before I leave, I'm probably going to put another, I think about 30, 40 pounds of meat to the go in. The smell is amazing. What type of wood do you use? Right this second, we're using hickory. I just want to close it up a little bit so I don't smoke out the entire store. Today I'm using, right now with my briskets, I use hickory. When I'm doing poultry, it's hickory is a little bit too strong for that. I'll do a combination of hickory and cherry, mainly uh, cherry, especially when I have poultry. I happen to love cherry wood. When I notice when I smoke with apple or just oak, my meat comes out a little bit darker, but when I have cherry, 
it has that mahogany color to it, which is Ooh. really beautiful. And it gives a nice color besides a beautiful flavor to, uh, beautiful flavor to the meat. This is my stick burner. I had this actually built by uh, what call it somebody down in North Carolina. He brought it up to Virginia. I actually drove left Lakewood at 11 o'clock on a Mutzah Shabbos. Drove down to Virginia with my son, son, hooked it up in the back of my Ford Explorer, and drove it back here. And I was back in my store by one o'clock already. And drove it all the way back. And drove wow. it all the way back from. Virginia. How many years ago was this? This was oh, I'd say three, four years ago. Wow. Um, I love it, and which well, it's not up and running uh, right now because I'm just I finished already for the day. But well, it's up and running all the time out here. All the, all the time. Let's call it during the winter time. Maybe we we'll cut back a little bit just because it's a little too cold. But yeah, we try to get this up and running as much as possible. Uh, we'll use the front one inside and the one outside. Sometimes if I'm doing meat, I'll do specifically meat over there, and I'll have my poultry over here just because, like I said before, a little difference in the wood that I use. So uh, we don't combine. And you go them. get your own wood. You cut your own well, wood. Well, if you, you get it delivered, we, I cut my own wood. I pick up my own wood. I get some. Uh, yeah, some delivered. What goes in to a smokehouse, not only a sandwich shop, is Yosef, Joseph Mutterpool, working almost 24 hours a day, feeding the smoker, putting meat in, taking meat in. I see pictures of you all the time on social well, media, all it's hours a, it's of the night. All hours. It's everything that smokes at a different time. Brisket's going for 24 hours, so I'll get that into the smoker as early, but let's say about 5 o'clock in the evening. That's going to smoke. Before I leave at around 12 o'clock, I'll put in my long bones, or people might call them dinosaur bones. I'll put in my burnt ends. I'll put in my pulled beef, because that smokes for about 12 to 15 hours. When I come in in the morning, I'll pull those out. I'll take my briskets, and I'll wrap my briskets. Yes, I wrap my briskets for the, the end uh, of the cook. And I'll put in my short bone ribs. I'll put in my lamb ribs. I'll put in my chicken. There's a whole science to this. There's a whole science. Down. It's still time. Four hours later, I'm pulling my chicken out. Two hours later, or three hours later, I'm pulling my short bone and my lamb out pulling my briskets out, and then putting my next batch in already. So it's a constant rotation, because you just have to worry about the timing, because remember, I use different woods, and everything cooks at different times. So it's a, I can come in Mutsi Shabbos, about 15, 20 minutes, half hour after Shabbos, and I'll have my smokers running till uh, Thursday afternoon. That's insane. So Make sure you <laughs> check this guy out in Lakewood, Southside Sandwich Shop and Smokehouse, here in Lakewood, New Jersey. It's insane, it's amazing, it is amazing. Wasn't that clip amazing? Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get an endless supply of me. <laughs>